take two. Did not like the placement of my microphone. Y'all probably couldn't hear what I said. Or it would sound like this. Y'all going to do something, sir? Yeah. So anyway. Be yard experience for you folks that have recently joined my channel and uh, not been introduced to beekeeping properly. This hive went into it last week. It was packed from here down, full of bees, full of brood. Brood is young capped honey cells, honeycomb cells with young ones in it. That hive is exploding with bees. Uh, if we was a month and a half further down the road, I would add another brood chamber to it. There's so many bees in there. Anticipating extreme growth. Our weather has opened up. Of course, right now it's like 50 degrees. I'm getting down to think. It's like 50 degrees here, and uh, I'm I'm trying to outrun the rain. So I'm gonna get in here and add some space to this thing. Not really space, but a spacer. This is a double screen. See the screen right here? It's a double screen bottom board. You can use this to split a hive without doing any any super hard work what this does it separates boxes all right bees work off pheromones and in a hive the queen's pheromone is what keeps that hive stable now they can smell it but they transmit it one from another worker bees well i understand this by touch so as they come in contact with each other, they're reassuring the hive by the strength of the queen's pheromone in their touch that everything's cool. By adding this divider board, it breaks the chain because the bees cannot touch themselves through this screen. So that puts them into panic mode and they will create a queen cell, thus queen cell or cells, thus splitting this hive and getting free bees. This is a queen. I got the queen cell from Buddy over the road here. Tommy, you watching? You better be. Uh, last year. And uh, he is uh, all about swarms. I don't think he's bought bees ever. I haven't bought bees in this will be my third year. Catching swarms and splitting our own. Treatment free. I went in the winter with 11 hives, I got seven. I ain't putting nothing in. So anyway, I'm gonna use this. And one extra benefit of this screen, double screen, it lets the heat created in the largest portion of the hive help heat the smaller portion that you're splitting. So that's what we're gonna do. I have gone to a, a die out and harvest it. No, I didn't harvest it, but I just pulled the frames out that had honey in them to put in the, the split area. That way they have plenty of resources. Uh, there will be worker bees in with this. Uh, there is an entrance so the worker bees can continue to do their business as far as pulling in honey. I mean, not honey, pollen. There's no, if there's any nectar out there now, it's very, 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 very slight. But the worker bees will still be able to continue their everyday jobs because they'll have their own door which will be 180 degrees opposite of the main door so this is a new back door folks so anyway uh i'm going to try to put my hood on now i may mess up my sound if i do i'm very sorry i'll try to keep my comments to a minimum but i just letting some of you folks that's joined up with me for my pipe smoking uh, stuff to see what it's like to mess with bees. I'm not using my smoker today. I didn't want to fire it up I am not going to be going down in the main main house here um, Like I said, it's like 50 degrees out here. There's no activity at the front of the hive at all So all those bees are in there and uh, they might not like me coming in and seeing them But a smoker probably wouldn't make much difference And if it was nicer weather, I don't want to say nicer weather, a little bit warmer, I would probably try to do this without this heavy duty jacket because this thing is very cumbersome. But since it's not nicer weather, I'm going to be using the jacket. 
I'm also going to be using my gloves because, like I said, them girls are not going to be real happy to see my smiling face. I am not on the cover of the Rolling Stones. I don't do drugs by the bucket. <laughs> Dr. Hook, for those of you who don't know the uh, uh, little thing I just shared there. Should be no bees in here. Uh, let's see here. Where's my tool? J hook hive tool. I love it. Oh boy. Good lord. All right, y'all gonna have to see this. Y'all see all them bees in there? Eating, they're eating granulated sugar. Yeah, granulated sugar. And I had put a pollen patty in there. Look here. Come on. Oh, that's honeycomb. They're actually drawing honeycomb up here. This is a, I call it a feeding shim. So yeah, I hope y'all got something from that little move around of the camera. I'll put y'all back over here again. Trying to keep you balanced so you're not having vertigo issues. All right, so let's make some room on my table here. And these hives are gonna to have to be moved from this perch because there's one thing I found, hives get heavy. And it's hard to work them when they get up like this big. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pop this top right here and just pick this box up and set it over to the side. Just like that. Now then. This They're not like in this cold weather. Is the spacer that I put on here. To give that queen just a little bit more room to lay in. I'm looking to see if she has. I'm looking for eggs. Y'all don't know that, but that's what I'm looking for. fresh nectar down here. I would show it to you, but you couldn't see it. Okay. Well, this is telling me this hive is not near as far as long as I thought it was. There's a bunch of bees in here. Don't get me wrong. But they're all in that upper. Oh, here they come. They're all in that upper box. Now this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the Jedi mind trick on them. Yep, I'm gonna do the Jedi mind trick. Damn. Propolis, you gotta love it, I reckon. Yeah, there was no, uh, I'm not seeing any evidence of eggs here anywhere none not a not a bit so the uh, the plan that I, and there's not a lot of activity down in, in the main brood chamber so there there's a lot of bees in here but they're just not they're not splittable yet yeah not yet Yeah, she has not, she has not moved down to the lower box at all. Yeah. Yeah, see there. 
there's nothing in here. I mean, well, I've seen a little bit of nectar, but as far as eggs, there's no eggs in here. Now, I know for a fact, dang it, I've dropped my tie tool again. I know for a fact in that lower box, there's boo coodles and stuff down in there because I saw it last weekend. Last weekend. So now what I'd like to do is get that old gal back down into the brood chamber. So, uh, we are not going to be adding that box on her to split it like I said I would. Nope. Yeah, nothing down in here. Well, I mean, there's a few bees, but nothing to brag about. <clears throat> yeah, that queen's up in this box here. I gotta get her down. Got to get her down. You know what I could do? And what I'm going to do is this right here. See, that old girl, she wants to work up. She wants to work up. So that's what I'm going to let her do. That's what I'm going to let her do. Gonna let her do that. Anytime you move something where the queen might be, you always wanna check and make sure she's not where you just moved her from. Nice little piece of freshly drawn comb. That wasn't there last week. That was not there last week. So they are drawing comb already. All right, Jedi mind trick now. I want the queen in here. And by putting her down here on the bottom, that's what she'll do. She'll move up. Yep, that's what she'll do. She'll move up. I'm going to put this back on where it was. And there you have it. There wasn't quite the bees I thought there was going to be. I didn't see any of the eggs that I had to have to make this work. So, sometimes you have to adapt and improvise and overcome so maybe next weekend we'll do something different jeff eubanks come by and see me sometime Ooh, yeah what's that one two three i clicked it down here